Welcome back to Living 808. Now, the Inahina Vet Clinic offers many services for pets and their owners. Kelly actually headed over there to the east side of Oahu to learn more. <laughs> Today is National Pet Day, and we are celebrating by heading to the Aina Haina Veterinary Clinic. We're talking about common questions that pet owners have. And to answer those questions, we're joined by Dr. Jonathan Onaga. Aloha. Hi, and thank you for having me. Of course, and I'm happy to be down here. And who else do we have joining us today? Yeah, today joining us, uh, this is my dog, Maple. Maple. Uh, yeah, she's about five and a half years old. Uh, she's a Norwich Terrier. And such a cute terrier. I love it. Okay, so obviously you guys do service dogs here. Mm -hmm. What other services do you provide here at the clinic? Yeah, so at Anaheim Veterinary Clinic, um, our, our goal is to provide um, complete wellness care for all of our patients. Um, that includes things like your pet's um, annual and semi-annual um, physical exams, um, their vaccines, their heartworm testing, um, fecal screens, um, as well as things like screening diagnostic lab work um, to assess their overall health. Um, and we do also treat a, a wide variety of medical conditions as well things like skin disease, dental disease, um, and things like that. And we do offer full um, service domestic and international health certificates if we're able to um, help you guys travel um, with your pets. So. Very important. Okay, yeah. good to know. All right, so today I'm going to fire off kind of some common pet owner questions for you. Is that okay? Yeah, definitely. Okay, we love our dogs, mm -hmm. but as we know, they can sometimes get a little bit of a stinky breath. Yeah. So why is that, and what can you do to help it out? Um, so stinky breath in our dogs um, is uh, the result uh, most of the time of bacteria accumulations inside of their mouth um, in the form of plaque and uh, dental tartar. The reason why that's important for our dog's health um, is not, not just because of the smell, but because actually dental disease is probably one of the most common types of disease that our pets uh, deal with. Mm -hmm. um, it can start from an extremely young age. So um, what we strongly, strongly recommend is bring your pet in regularly for us to take a look at their mouth and, and let you know if we think that they would benefit from professional dent, uh, dental care here in the clinic. Um, and we can also talk to you guys about at-home um, means of taking care of your pet's teeth. So. Okay, good to know. And something we need to be on top of. I didn't know it could yeah. lead to potential other issues down the road. Okay, and speaking of issues, mm -hmm. a common one that I've heard of dogs and pets mm -hmm. getting that it, yeah, oh, she already no. knows what I'm going to talk I'm about. Talking about you. I'm going to ask about heartworm disease. Yeah. That's something to cry mm -hmm. about. What exactly is that? Yeah, so um, heartworm disease um, is a um, very important um, and potentially very serious illness of our dogs um, and cats to some extent. Um, and it is spread um, from um, between our pets um, from the bites of infected mosquitoes, which uh, we do have uh, oh. quite a few of those here in Hawaii. So mm -hmm. it is something that we worry about. Um, and uh, the reason um, why you need to be talking to your vet regularly about this, um, first and foremost is for annual heartworm testing. Um, it is how we screen for the disease because your pet will usually not act sick if they're infected with heartworms until the disease reaches pretty advanced stages. Mm -hmm. So um, we screen for that annually and we also um, are able to prescribe um, heartworm prevention, um, which are um, usually monthly medications. Um, so prevention is key for this particular disease and that's where your veterinarian can help you kind of stay ahead of the game and make sure that you never have to worry about it. Good to know. And early detection key too. Okay, and we know that for ourselves, like people need to be healthy and fit, mm -hmm. not overweight. That's the same for our pets too though, yeah. right? So how do people know if their pet is overweight? Yeah, so um, overweight and uh, being overweight and obesity in our pets is actually becoming a huge issue. And mm -hmm. uh, I think the, the numbers right now hover around 60% of pets are, yeah, um, yeah are overweight or obese. Um, and uh, the way that, um, we evaluate, I guess, fitness in our in our pets is um, through something called body condition scoring. Um, so it's not an actual um, weight or a pounds or anything like mm -hmm. that. Um, what we actually do is, I like, can use Maple as an example here, okay. is um, we actually have to feel your pet to check um, for the amount of fat and muscle that they have in different parts of their body. So your veterinarian will actually feel over the ribs, mm -hmm. over the spine, over their hips and their belly. So with that body condition score, we're able to, um, to get an assessment of where their fitness level is at. And the reason why that's important Important is because um, it, it's really, really clear that um, obesity and being overweight long term can really negatively impact the health of your pets um, um, for a variety of different uh, reasons um, orthopedic diseases, metabolic diseases. Um, and we just know that dogs that are fit, they, they just live longer than, mm -hmm. than, um, than ones that aren't. And for that reason alone, we do want to um, really try our best to keep your pets fit and healthy going forward. Definitely, so. because we want to keep them in our lives as long as possible. Definitely. Okay, we've talked a lot about dogs, and mm -hmm. obviously, we have maple here, mm -hmm. but what all animals do you treat here at the Anaheim Veterinary Clinic? Yeah, so um, at Anaheim Veterinary Clinic, um, for the most part, we'll be seeing dogs and cats as our, our primary
our patients. Um, we do have uh, one doctor, Dr. Kaya, who does um, see um, the other types of, of pets that we may we may see out there, like our birds and our small mammals, like uh, rabbits and mice and rats and things like that. Oh, yeah. So we, we highly encourage you, if you do have uh, exotic pets or small mammals, please just give us a call and then check in first to make sure that we'll be able to help you out with any questions. But for the most that. part, it sounds like you kind of cover the gambit there then. Uh, That's yeah, great. Yeah, we try our best to uh, be offer those services. So. Okay, so you mentioned calling if we want to <laughs> double check to make sure you guys can <laughs> treat our furry friends. So yeah. what's the number to call or what's your website? How do we get in touch with you yeah. guys? Yeah, so um, you can reach us on by phone at 808-453-5000. Uh, mm -hmm. um, we also have our website, uh, inahinavet.com. Um, we can reach us there. And then um, we also have an Instagram account, uh, Inahina Vet Clinic. Perfect, and we'll have all of that info on our website as well at k22.com. But this is the perfect way to celebrate National Pet Day. Make sure you're caring for your pet and schedule their annual checkups and make sure that they are happy and healthy. Thanks so much, Doc, for having me thank out. Thank you. And thank you, Maple. <laughs> Oh, oh, Maple. Maple was such a yeah. cute addition. Oh, what a great segment, Kelly. And oh, yeah. so informative. And yeah, this is a good time to really take care of your pet. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Heartworm medicine. Yeah. Brush the teeth. I'm glad we got to <laughs> ask some of the most common questions yes. that pet owners do have. So it's a good day to celebrate your pet. And of course, make sure that they are happy and healthy. And give them a nice hug. Yeah, super sweet. <laughs>